Hi there, I'm Jason Ayers, founder and president of Optionsource.net, and thank you for joining us to learn about options. Options are part of several investment tools that make up the derivative market. The derivative market includes any financial instrument that acquires its value from the increase or decrease in value of an underlying security. With an understanding of their trading characteristics, we can purchase and sell options on many different stocks, ETFs, futures, currencies, and commodities. Options have a set of standardized characteristics that make them unique to trade. It is important to understand that options are bought and sold as contracts, with one contract controlling 100 shares of the underlying security. There may be many different option contracts trading on any one individual underline, each having its own fixed exercise or strike price. Each option contract will also have its own expiration date. The options contract selected will be based on the investor's or trader's objectives. The strike price of an option refers to the price of the underlying security. It is the price at which the option holder has the right to buy, in the case of the call option, or sell, in the case of a put option, the underlying security. As an option seller, also known as the option writer, this is the price at which an obligation to buy or deliver the underlying security has been created. The strike price is a fixed aspect of an option contract. Here is a snapshot of a typical call option chain. Notice that under the strike column, there is a series of different prices at which the option trader has the ability to buy the underlying security in the case of a call option. It is important to remember that the person who sells or writes the call option contract, the strike price reflects the price at which the obligation to deliver the underlying security takes place should the underlying value be trading above it by expiration. In this example, the strike prices are listed in 50 cent intervals. Keep in mind that this may differ depending on the underlying security. Again, we will select an appropriate strike price based on our trading or investment objectives. Remember that the strike price is a fixed aspect of the options contract and each contract trades independently from one another. A put option chain is also constructed in the same manner, except that the strike prices here represent the price at which a put option buyer or holder has the right to sell the underlying security. To the option writer or seller, this becomes the price at which they are required to purchase the underlying should it be trading below the strike price at expiration. The other fixed aspect of an option contract is the expiration date. Options expire on the third Saturday of the expiration month. However, trading closes on the Friday prior. If the option contract has no intrinsic value, it will expire worthless. Because of this characteristic, an option buyer or holder has the risk of losing the entire premium. However, as an option writer, this will work in our favor. Again, depending on our objectives, we will select an appropriate expiration date. Notice that there are several different strike prices listed for a specific expiration month. If the trader or investor wishes to take advantage of more time, an option contract with the same strike price but later expiration month may be selected. As a reminder, the expiration month for a call option refers to the time in which the call holder has the right to buy the underlying security at the specific strike price. Put option expiration dates are listed in the same manner, except, of course, that this date refers to the time in which a put option holder has the right to sell the underlying security at the specific strike price. Option prices are often referred to as the premium. Remember that the option premium is listed on a per share basis and must be multiplied by 100 to reflect the contract value since each contract controls 100 shares of the underlying security. When looking at a typical option chain, the bid and ask price, as well as the last price, is reflected for each contract. Remember that each of these contracts trade independently and are priced differently based on the strike price and expiration month. Understanding how to use the options market is about knowing the rights and obligations associated with buying and selling puts and calls. As a call buyer, we have the right to own the underlying security at the strike price However, as a writer, we take the other side of the trade and create an obligation to deliver the security. 
A put option buyer has the right to sell the underlying security at the strike price selected. But once again, as a put writer, we take the other side of the trade and take on the obligation to buy. Remember that these rights and obligations are relevant for a specific period of time determined by which expiration month is selected. An understanding of the characteristics of how an option trades allows the trader or investor to create a variety of strategies designed to protect and preserve investment capital, generate cash flow, or trade a directional bias with an identifiable risk exposure.